as the West Indies are concerned. Two hundreds in this one day series already and Ian they'll be looking for a good start here the West Indies. Yes, a very good start Ravi within the first 14 overs when the limitations. That's a fine shot. First boundary of the innings. That's blazed away. That's not the place to bowl with this kind of field. I'm not sure what the intention is by removing the sweeper from the offside if you're going to give him that room anyway. That is going to be a testing time for Balaji. Chris Gale does not spare these types of deliveries easily. And with the run rate, the asking rate, about six. And the West Indies are off to a very good start. It's in the air, but pass cover. Kef won't cut it off. So good over for the West Indies. 14 coming off it. 20. Neither team. That's driven, and it's found the gap. Fractionally over pitched. He's a tall man, Gale. He pounces on it. So four boundaries now for Gale. Four for Hines. Well, at this rate, he'll be completed after 30 overs. You're finding the gaps every single time. Well, I think uh, Ian, you mentioned a little while earlier, Harbhajan take. Sanjay Bangar gets a welcome that uh, is not entirely unexpected. We saw the Indians do this as well when they were batting, looking for the boundary early in the over and then taking singles, picking up six, seven runs and over easily. Well, not even Uncle Les is awake to watch those. It's up in the air, but will fall in no man's land. They also go all the way. Just pull back in. Indian captain does the job. Just a couple of runs for Chris Gale. Didn't time it very well at all, Chris Gale. Perhaps he hit the bottom of the bat. I think it perhaps came off a bit slower than he expected as well. And again, he's gone square on the offside. And that was a good ball from Srinath. So 11 runs so far from the Srinath over. His last two overs were very good, but again he's suffering. First two, two overs went for 18, then his next two went for five. But I think... West Indies opening batsmen are looking to redress that balance again. Chris Gale on this. And he gets a welcome that uh, we're beginning to get used to. We used to keep on concentrating on the last ball in the over to see if it would go for four after five good deliveries. But seeing as if the emphasis has now changed as far as the West Indies batsmen are. It's a quick outfield. It beats Ganguly. And again, a good start to the over. Uh, this Indian attack is getting a real caning here at the hands of these two openers. And West Indies, hang on target. They've reduced the required run rate. They need to under five runs per over, and that's uh, significant. It certainly is. And you can just see the strategy is that you trying to get... That's his half centre, Chris Gale. That's his 14th half century in Monday International's Chris Gale. This has been this has been a very good series for him. He scored two hundreds already. He's gone to fifteen this month. Goes in the air, it's flat and it's gone a long way. Goes for the roof, Chris Gale. Seen plenty of sixes. Well, he got right to the pitch of this one and struck it well. And if you've got to take a risk, you Raj is the man you want to take it against. Ganguly in the second over and almost killing the batsman at the other end. Sarwan is on the ground. And the ball has crossed the boundary rope. Brings up the 200 for West Indies. Time for a commentary change. First for our national viewers in Hindi. It's going to be Maninder Singh and Arulal. And to describe Chris Gale's shot further, it's going to be Michael. 
And now the big one. He's picked the slow ball and put it out of the park. Again, a massive strike. Ten of the first two balls. And the West Indies motoring along. I think this was a bit of a risk that Sao Gangoli took. But I think it was a worthwhile risk because he could have had the wicket of Chris Gale in his previous over. Ganguly took that risk. And again, another boundary. He's peppering that onside field. And this could be the turning point in this game, this over. This is a good over for the West Indies and for Chris Gale. It's a glorious hit, the biggest hit of the day. That's landed right on the roof of the stadium and disappeared. What a strike. He's a tall man, big use of his feet. And what a hit. That's the biggest hit of the game. He's a tall man and a powerful man. Now, the roof of the stadium, I would think, whoa, that's about five, six stories high. And it hit the top of the roof. Should be getting 12 for that. That's great camera work. Flying right. Got it, got that it, should it. be it. You have to hurry. He gets there in the end. Another magnificent innings from Chris Gale. Third hundred of this TBS One Day series. His fourth overall. And a very important not that. When we were behind the party, he knew he had to stay right through as long as possible Chris Gale in front of the way well the finger goes up Rahul Dravid wasn't even appealing Chris Gale cannot believe it could this be the turning point in this contest two wickets in the over and it might just be a lucky break for India well, Rahul Javid is out there looking very embarrassed. He wasn't appealing at all because the ball was nowhere near to the bat. It missed the bat by a mile. But as we know, Harbhajan Singh appeals for anything. This time it has paid off for him. It's 239 for five.